So stick around, we're gonna go over the major design overhaul to make this look like the most movie accurate Kyler and Saber you can find. We're gonna check out the blade and listen to the sound. In this video, we're also going to be comparing the Galaxy's Edge Saber, the NeoPixel upgrade. So don't go anywhere. If you like Deadly Jedi weapons, vlogs from a galaxy far, far away, or anything Star Wars, make sure to hit the subscription button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our videos. The cat is out of the metaphorical bag. The other surprise lightsaber we got converted by Pit Force 5 is... Kylo Ren! Boom! You guys, ah, so I'm shopping for, for Sabersmiths for a broken Skywalker Saber, right? Boop, link above. I go on uh, Pit Force's 5 website and he had no idea about this, right? But I saw that this is his bread and butter, is he loves Kylo Ren and overhauling these lightsabers for a major conversion, right? Yes. When I saw Brian's amazing NeoPixel Kylo Ren Saber. I think I peed myself a little and I had to get it for this guy, okay? So here's a clip of our first take of this video. Hey guys, here's a clip when Dad surprised me with this lightsaber. <gasps> oh, oh! <gasps> Kylo Ren! Oh man, this thing is awesome. Wait, it changed a new button! Yeah, it's whoa, you finally got it back, dude. Converting our Galaxy's Edge lightsaber was $500 through Pit Force 5, but it was worth every penny of it. But I couldn't help myself. I mean, when I saw the amazing NeoPixel blade effects, <sighs> don't tell my wife, okay? She doesn't know yet. I have to unsubscribe her from our channel, I think. If she knows, I'll never hear the end of it, huh, buddy? Oh my gosh, you spent how much on that lightsaber? Does that sound like mom? <laughs> This is my cat and my mom hand. Oh my gosh. So let's just dive right in to the major overhaul that he got on his Kylo Ren lightsaber. In this video, we're also going to be comparing the NeoPixel upgrade to the Galaxy's Edge Saber so we can see what a major upgrade this was. And we're gonna start from the bottom up, okay? The pummel cat. Yes, which Brian did a really rocking job at uh, weathering. I believe the one on the Galaxy's Edge Saber is really like a bright, kind of a red, a really bright red. Like he that. added so much cool weathering that yeah. looks, it makes it look dark and dirty, huh? Like fire had seared it from when he was like just slaying fools on Mustafar. The Rise of Skywalker in the beginning where he was like, God, God, he's just destroying fools, right? <laughs> cool. So let's take off the pummel cap. What's this called in here? Um, a custom 3D Jetson. That, that's right, 3D printed. So what kind of sound chip is that? CFX. That's right. Is it better than Profi Board? To us it is. Heck yeah! Plug and play, baby! Here's the old chassis. Hold that. Look at that. So you can see the extra weathering and the more movie accurate mechanical components that he painted down here. I love the silver color. It's a darker gray and he did so much weathering the one that came with Galaxy Z. What color is it? It looks orange. It is. You can see on the inside the plastic orange color in here. So here's the chassis. It's way tougher and stronger that can withstand dueling. We'll get to that. Here's the battery on the back side. And I actually caught Brian has some sneaky lettering up at the top. I have to ask him what that stands for, man. Can I see? So the next, he put this this rockin' red clear wire like and here is the old plastic wire. Which one you like better? Uh, I like this one. Dude, way, way better. These really awesome white wire clips too. So you can see the wire through the, the translucent red covering and stuff. Is this a real wire? What's the next part that Brian changed to make this look more movie accurate? The blue wire. Yeah, he added a ton of extra cool weathering to this the, the exposed part of the saber. It's like and he actually put real wiring in here instead of this fake blue plastic stuff. Right? Cooler color, better accent. Well, that's pretty good. Yep, totally Austin authentic. Is... And now, the biggest major upgrade. He chopped the big 
side vents uh -huh. to a little one so it look like screen accurate. Way to go, dude. That's right. Boom, high five. He completely replaced the side vents to be 7 8 inch for the side blade. So this looks way more like the movie rather than having these chunkier one inch diameter side blade vents, right? Compared to the more screen accurate side vents it has now. He did an awesome job. They were all, like he put brand new metal on there and he hand painted them. Here it is guys, making videos with a six year old. Okay, this could be a while. <laughs> the last and final major design upgrade that we got is that I told him that him and I want to fight with these lightsabers, right? They're not going to be shelf queens. <laughs> They're not going to sit on a shelf and never get played with, man. These are light. These are swords. We got to fight with them. We got a sword fight, man. Do you see inside of there, bud? That cool, like that that solid metal ring inside. That I think is what reinforces the blades. That we can just go crazy and like do super dueling outside, right? Because we have the extra, they have the thicker dueling grade strength NeoPixel blade that's like, you know, it's a bit thicker. And he also had a great idea that because this guy is smaller, so when you insert the blade, I think it's only about 30, it's a 31 or 32 inch blade uh, that's inserted for him because he's a bit smaller rather than my super huge, which is a 38 inch when you insert it into the hilt, you know, so his is a bit smaller, but that's cool. It's good for him because he's, you know, he'll grow into a larger blade. We'll get him one. For a detailed list of all the upgrades, you can revert back to our Skywalker video, right? Now I'm fire this bad baby up. All right, so we got the blades in and I'm super pumped. This is what I've been most looking forward to when we were like upgrading our sabers is how loud they were gonna be, right? I turned the sound down so it wouldn't overpower the microphone. But man, this thing looks awesome. Check this out. It's flickering like fires coming out of this thing and I love, I don't know if the, the blade effect is actually changing as you swing it or if it's just our eyes picking up. It looks like, it looks like uh, the flame is flickering and moving as you swing the blade. Can you see it? Oh yeah. You see it now? Yeah, but it's all, all right, here, show them, uh, show them the blaster deflect. Oh, this thing is so awesome, man. I got a blaster. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, super cool. Okay, lock up. Yes. Oh man. All right, show, do one of the force effects. Cool, kind of ominous sound effect there, right? But this thing gets so loud, sound fonts of the Kylo Ren. There's like eight or 10 of them on here. There's so many to choose from. And then we've also got a smooth swing. You can hear the crackling fire like flying through the air. Flash on flash. The ignition and deactivation. Let's check it out again. Oh, and deactivation. Yes, sci five. That is so cool. This blade profile, check out the ignition and deactivation. It has a really white shimmer to it. Shimmer oh. to it. Oh. And this blade, this this blade profile looks like the fire is like bellowing out of the hilt, right? You see that, like it's coming coming out of the hilt in in waves. Ah, 
Oh, that lockup is awesome. This is one of my favorites, I think, man. I just love the way that sounds. Hey! I <laughs> gotcha. Sounds like an evil Sith motorcycle engine is running. So that was the Kylo Saber in the dark. Dude, that was awesome. So Brian gave us his prototype blade covers that you can duel with, dude. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So I'm gonna pin a comment down below the first one. We have to hit the likes and tell Brian from Pit Force 5 how much we want him to perfect his blade covers. I want a big blue one to go with my Skywalker, but these are gonna make his saber look awesome when we're walking around, maybe uh, making some fun Kylo videos this summer. So side vent covers that work perfect and they're this, I'm not even sure what kind of material this is, but look, look, it's bendable and soft and you can duel with it. That's and it looks crazy. awesome. And so it doesn't look as good on camera. The light can't really get through as well. So I didn't have it for the, uh, the, in, you know, the dark demonstration. It even has a shimmer to it with this really awesome unstable blade effect. Boom. Dude. So the awesome blade covers are so cool. Uh, like I said, flexible. He kind of did a, he kind of made the tip a little pointy there. But we gotta let Brian know, come on, keep fighting to perfect. He was having some problems with producing them. So we gotta keep him encouraging him that we really want him to mass produce these blade covers so we can all have them, man, they're super cool. So that is our lightsaber review of Landon's awesome, custom, hand-painted, replica status Kylo Ren lightsaber. Boom! Thanks for hanging out, guys. You have an awesome... Star Wars Day! Woo! See you next time! Boom! Yo, you said you would! <laughs>